To use Camtasia Studio or Camtasia Recorder, you go to your Start menu and you actually just can type in Camtasia. To just start recording right away, the easiest thing to do is to use Camtasia Recorder. You can go in through Camtasia Studio, but like I said, um, to record right away, just click on Camtasia Recorder and you will actually have this icon on your taskbar down here. It obviously will not look like this because I'm already recording, but the two things you want to use are record in full screen, and the other options you have are webcam and audio. Right now I have the webcam off and I just clicked on audio so that I could record using my microphone. Um, then you just click on, after you use those two options, you can click on record and um, just start recording. The other thing to remember about the um, other menu, which obviously you can't see right now, is if you go into options under audio, there's something called hotkeys. So if you want to stop recording, I think the default is to hit F9 or F10. Uh, my F10 doesn't work. So I actually had to change the hotkeys under options, there's options or tools, um, change the hotkey to a key on your keyboard that actually works. So those are some things to think about when you have your other uh, box, recording box up that you can't see. So try to visualize, um, if not I'll try to help you a different way. So you can, the only thing you need to do is record. So if I want to show you how to use something on the internet, just go straight to the internet and do what you need to do. So if I want to show people how to do or use Twitter, I can go to Twitter and you can actually see what's going on as I'm talking and I can continue what I need to do. So since I changed my hotkey from I think F9 or F10 to F6, I'm going to stop recording so that you can see the next thing. Um, I set my default to F6 and now the recording is going to stop. Once you've finished recording and you've stopped recording, you actually go to a preview window. It allows you to save and edit your video. You can produce your video as is without any, any editing, or you can delete the video. I haven't quite figured out how to record that screen, so take my word for it. Um, and then I always click save and edit because they always add options in that I don't like preset options and I like to go in and delete them. So I always click on save and edit and you just want to save the video in some place that you know where you can find it. The video will ap appear in your clip bin and from there you can start working with it. Um, <clears throat> There's a few tutorials that tell you a little bit more about this, um, all the different icons and different things you can do. Uh, but the basic thing is, is you want to take your video, pull it down into this area um, that says video one, and it will bring in your video that you recorded. Uh, the one thing I mentioned is that they do add in um, different things, and I'll tell you about that in a second, but these little diamonds down here at the bottom are things they add in. Um, some basic tools just for basic editing. You have your undo, redo. Um, if you want to cut a specific clip, you can, or cut something out. Uh, you can copy, paste things. You can split your video or your audio um, and zoom in and out. Those are really the only things that I use. You can use some of the icons up here if you want. Um, you can preview your video at any time using the play button, just so that you know what's going on. Um, and this little track button allows you to move within your video if it's quicker or easy for you. Um, if you know a specific spot where you want to cut or split, you can do that as well. 
The main thing is they add in automatic zooms. I don't like the zooms because half the time they zoom in on blank pieces of your screen and you actually want to create your own zooms. So I actually will just click on these and cut them out. If you have a longer video, it takes forever. But to me, it's worth getting rid of them because then you don't end up with a funny looking video. Um, so you can sit and you can preview if you want to uh, your video. But let's say I don't like the end of my video. I can actually slide my track button all the way to the end. And let's say I wanted to cut out the last five seconds or so of the video. The green and red buttons allow you to um, select certain parts of the video. So I can actually just move the red piece, the red button. As you can see, it starts to highlight. And if I don't like that specific piece, I can go to cut and it will delete it if I want to. Other than that, that's the basics for editing that I use. But like I said, you are more than welcome to play around with any of the other options. And you can always hit undo if you don't like what you see. So <clears throat> after I've done my basic editing, um, I want to, after I'm done and I want to produce and let's say I want to save it to YouTube because that's the easiest place for most people to gain access to the videos. You're going to go to the top toolbar where it says produce and share and you're going to go to share to YouTube. You're going to use the username and password. and we're going to go to next. So you're going to produce and upload your video, so you're going to give it a title. Um, we can give it a tag if you want to. and um, you're going to share it with the world and that's the option I usually leave it on but because I have privacy settings on YouTube um, it's not that big of a deal because not everybody's going to see it unless they can search me and then you're going to click on finish and it'll work on um, uploading it and it's going to take some time then you can log into your YouTube account and make sure that your video is ready to go.